State Tournament quarterfinals today for local baseball and softball action all over the place. We'll look at five games now, several others back here tonight in our 10 p.m. broadcast. We start in Lawrence. Washburn Rural meets Blue Valley West. It's a pitcher's duel, and here's Josie Carlgren, just a sophomore. Great bunt, loads the bases, but the Jaguars would escape the jam later. They are threatening, but check out this play. Gabby Martinez, the jumping grab, and she doubles up the runner at second. That was sensational. This is sensational-er. It's Avery Rupp fired up. It's a home run. Kiss it goodbye. The Junior Blues advance with a 2-1 win. They'll play Olathe Northwest tomorrow at 11 a.m. We stay in Lawrence, but at Hoagland Ballpark. Topeka High gets a sort of road game against Lawrence Free State over there on the home of the Jayhawks. Matthew Genrich, well, he's going to make an incredible play. Running grab over the shoulder. I don't know how he saw it, let alone caught it. That's to end the inning, and the kid can hurt you at the plate, too. Crushes this ball to right center to make it first and third, but the Trojans don't quite convert enough. Firebirds win 12-1. We go to the 3A softball tournament here in Topeka. Silver Lake meets Cheney. Kendra Cook cooking again for the Eagles today. She struck out the first two batters she saw. Really set the tone, providing run support. Kira Lowry going, going, and goodbye. Just over that 200 sign out there. It's an early lead for the Eagles. Think twice about running on Taylor Swigert. Out by a mile on the steal attempt. Keyword attempt. How about another nuke? Taylor Zordal. The best kind of home runs are when there's three runners on base. It's a grand slam for Zordal. We needed just five innings here. Lake wins 10-0. I think they've earned that quiet confidence all year with the season they've had and the competition they played. And um, they just got to go out and do what they've done. We have so much confidence in our teammates and ourselves that there's not as much pressure as you would think there would be. They'll play in the semifinal tomorrow at 11 a.m. against the winner of this game, Marysville and Holcomb. It's Lindsey Dressman handing out K's left and right at no extra charge. But the Bulldogs are trailing early. Dressman can swing the bat too, and she's quick. The full package, you might say, infield single, but it's the Longhorns staying undefeated with a 3-0 winning, setting up quite the heavyweight bout tomorrow with Silver Lake. That'll be a fun one. One more game at Invista Softball Complex, Osage City and Trinity Academy out of Wichita. It's Peyton Pitts, just a sophomore. She gets the strikeout here in the first. How about double zero? A number that not enough kids wear these days, in my opinion. Gracie Smith hits it hard to left for a single. Here's another strikeout for Pitts. This game was close through six innings, but Trinity scores 10 in the seventh, winning 16 to two. Let's look at sports. We'll be right back. 